Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Happy Days. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Happy Days is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of Happy Days. Linda Pearl was born in 1955. In the sitcom, she played Ashley Fister. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 19 years old, and now she's 68. The night's still young. <laughs> Still go places, do things. Yeah, my father gave me an extra half hour tonight. That's great. Do that. It's a ridiculous industry. It's filled with rejection and disappointment. Um, the week runs something like this. We'll start Monday. Tom Bosley was born in 1927 in the sitcom he plays Howard Cunningham. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 47 years old and sadly passed away on October 19, 2010, at the age of 83. Train him at the hardware convention. It's gonna be a big hit. Couldn't mean a lot of money for it. Oh, Howard, I don't need money to be happy. Could mean a trip. I had to name actresses that uh, I've enjoyed working with in my entire life. I think she would be uh, in the top three. Pat Morita was born in 1932 in the sitcom he plays Arnold. In 1975, when he was in the sitcom, he was 43 and sadly passed away on November 24th, 2005, at 73. Okay, I mean, what the... Well, you're not rehearsing. Arnold should be alive with the sound of music. Where does... The process, he, he was adamant. He says, I don't want a comedian. I don't want a comic actor for this role. This is a heavyweight part. I want an actor. It all... Scott Bio was born in 1960 in the sitcom he plays Charlie Alcola. In 1977, when he was in the sitcom, he was 17 and now he's 63. On the bulletin board? No kidding. Yeah, I didn't have to look too far up to find yours. Really? Well, uh, like how far down was I? There were footprints all over it. Oh. <laughs> Charlie, you know what? She's been smearing my wife, calling her very, very bad names. Um, and people read this stuff. She... Ron Howard was born in 1954 in the sitcom he plays Richie Cunningham. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 30 years old, and now he's 70. I fixed you up with her. You did what? You said you liked her. Did Mary Lou say she wanted to go out with me? Yeah. Smoked. Even though Dad was constantly trying to get her to quit smoking, and she ultimately did, but not until she had emphysema. Um, and that Anson Williams was born in 1949 in the sitcom he plays Spotsy Weber. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 25, and now he's 74. Look, Mr. C, uh, I got to talk to you about something here. Uh, well, uh, I've been working here for over a year now, and. Uh, I think I deserve a raise. American Feedy came out and was a hit and they had Grease on Broadway. They thought they would do another pilot, but they thought Ron and I might be too old. How old were you at the time? Uh, 20. Ted McKinley was born in 1958 in the sitcom he played Roger Phillips. In 1980, when he was in the sitcom, he was 22 and now he's 65. Good morning, I'm Roger Phillips, new basketball coach. Yeah, good. Just hurt. Hi. Issues and it and it shows them happening. Uh, a lot of times in in some of these films where you don't actually they just sort of talk about it. You never see. Marion Ross was born in 1928 in the sitcom she plays Marion Cunningham. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 46 and now she's 95. Get off my feet. <laughs> now, now, Aunt Marion, this should stretch and, and uh, relieve the pressure of your upper vertebrae and your uh, pelvic girdle. Roger. I think he wanted somebody else for that part. If I don't know why it was available. <laughs> I know. He missed out. He missed out. So 
Kathy Silvers was born in 1961 in the sitcom she plays Jenny Piccolo. In 1980, when she was in the sitcom, she was 19 years old, and now she's 62. Attention! Quiet, please, everybody! Is there anyone here who doesn't know who's taking me to the party tonight? No! <laughs> I remember he picked up my twin sister Candace and I and he held us close and he said I love you girls please bring me good luck and actually Milton Berle who lived too Henry Winkler was born in 1945 in the sitcom he plays Arthur Fonzarelli in 1974 when he was in the sitcom he was 29 and now he's 78 I would work one day a week. I would sit in my apartment most of the rest of the week because I couldn't play during a work week. Erin Moran was born in 1960 in the sitcom she plays Joni Cunningham. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 14, and sadly she passed away on April 22, 2017, at 56. Oh, I see. So not only do I have to join a club that I don't want to join, but I have to plead with them to let you in also? <laughs> exactly. It's either that jo Just uh, be tenacious and um, enjoy. Enjoy it. We talked a little bit about uh, Los Angeles earlier, and uh, you were telling me how hard it is now to get uh, work out there. Al Molinero was born in 1919 in the sitcom he played Al Del Vecchio. In 1974, when he was in the sitcom, he was 55 and sadly passed away on October 30th, 2015, at 96. Hi, Chachi, this is Al. Yeah, I just got a card from the gang in Hollywood. Not from your cousin Fonzie, this is from Richie. Listen, it says, Dear Al. Misty Rowe was born in 1952, in the sitcom she played Wendy. In 1974, when she was in the sitcom, she was 22, and now she's 71. Hey, hey, do you know how much a hot fudge sundae is? No, I don't. Sorry. I'll put down 60 cents. Well, I think that's too much. Yeah, but when a guy says, hey, you charge... When we reflect on the incredible journey of happy days that took place between 1974 and 1984, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connection from those years left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.